And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi. And, um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Hope everyone's going. Hope everyone's doing great today. We got episode 25 of Boruto Next to Generations, the turbulent field trip. Now, like I said last week, looking at the preview, I did predict that this is going to be filler feeling. Not to confuse anybody that thinks that I'm straight out calling them filler, because I am aware there is technically no such thing as filler in the Boruto anime right now. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Oh no. I get upset every time I see Anko. How is she gonna let herself go like that, man? I still can't get over that. 24 episodes in, I still can't get over that. Boruto trying to peep. <laughs> Everybody now. <laughs> man, they got this man hung up upside down in the classroom. That's hilarious. I never seen that dude with the hat. I don't think I've ever recognized that one dude that looks like he came out of Street Fighter EX. Matter of fact, he looked like he could be related to Kakashi Sensei. He got he got relatives. <laughs> Porto still waving around. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It used to be known as the Blood Mist Village. Ha! <laughs> Yo, Porto's a definitely an otaku gamer, dog. He got his game charger and cards. Yo, it's so crazy how they're taking a train to the Mist Village, man. Remember when they used to just run to the Mist Village? Any village as at that fact? <laughs> it's crazy. They got a pool on the boat. That's crazy. Man, they're still going about it, how freaking Naruto's a loser, not a loser, man. Don't worry, Borto, you'll see soon once the movie hits. Oh, here we go, starting to get misty. Are they playing freaking Shinobi Uno? Oh, those beds are so comfy. Damn, it took them like a whole day just to get there. Oh, yeah, this dude, Kagura. I love how Borto is, man. Even though he's a little punk sometimes. Now that's cool. <laughs> they got pre-release over there in the freaking land, land of the mist. Hey, look at that. Zabuza looking ass sword. I remember my jaunts. Damn, you Wabe about to get them in trouble. Who this? Uh-oh. You saw his teeth? He looks sus. Ooh. That dude look like Orochimaru cousin. What are these, like the new Seven Swordsmen dudes? They all got the shark teeth. Yo, they all about to get jumped? Yo, I got scared for a second. I was like, yo, this is about to get really real real fast. Now, for being like a filler feeling episode, I mean, not didn't really feel too filler-ish. That's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just seeing how the Mist Village is now, seeing Kagura, and then seeing like the potential new Seven Swordsmen, Especially since those dudes refer to it as the Blood Mist Village still. That kind of makes me wonder. Something's growing on there. So hopefully we'll get some kind of lead within the next episode. There might be some fight. It looks like there's going to be. It looks like everyone's gonna about to get jumped right now because the mist came out of nowhere. Hey, there she is. Yep. All right, next week we're looking forward to the Mizukage successor, so we're going to get to see more about all of the villagers and some of the other ninja that are involved in that. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about it in the Discord, especially on the Discord. Make sure to be following me on Twitch. You can talk to me about this episode while watching me play some games. And if you support the boy, support your man on the Patreon page. And I'll see y'all next time.